How to do parallel programming in Python For C++, we can use Open to do parallel programming. However, Open will not work for Python. What should I do if I want to parallel some parts of my Python program? The structure of the code may be considered as where solve1 and solve2 are two independent function. How to run this kind of code in parallel instead of in sequence in order to reduce the running time. The code is Where setInner and setOuter are two independent functions. That's where I want to parallel. You can use a multiprocessing module. For this case I might use a processing pool. This will spawn processes that can do generic work for you. Since we did not pass processes, it will spawn one process for each CPU core on your machine. Each CPU core can execute one process simultaneously. If you want to map a list to a single function you would do this. Don't use threads because the gil locks any operations on Python objects. This can be done very elegantly with Ray. To parallelize your example, you'd need to define your functions with the at ray.remote decorator, and then invoke them with dot remote. There are a number of advantages of this over the multiprocessing module. The same code will run on a multi-core machine as well as a cluster of machines. Processes share data efficiently through shared memory and zero copy serialization. Error messages are propagated nicely. These function calls can be composed together, for example. In addition to invoking functions remotely, classes can be instantiated remotely as actors. Note that Ray is a framework I've been helping develop. The solution, as others have said, is to use multiple processes. Which framework is more appropriate, however, depends on many factors. In addition to the ones already mentioned, there is also Charm4Pi and MPI4Pi, I am the developer of Charm4Pi. There is a more efficient way to implement the above example than using the worker pool abstraction. The main loop sends the same parameters, including the complete graph G, over and over to workers in each of the 1000 iterations. Since at least one worker will reside on a different process, this involves copying and sending the arguments to the other process S. This could be very costly depending on the size of the objects. Instead, it makes sense to have workers store state, and simply send the updated information. For example, in Charm4Py this can be done like this.
Note that for this example we really only need one worker. The main loop could execute one of the functions, and have the worker execute the other. But my code helps to illustrate a couple of things. Worker runs in process 0, same as the main loop. While, result underscore a dot get, is blocked waiting on the result, worker does the computation in the same process. Arguments are automatically passed by reference to worker A, since it is in the same process, there is no copying involved. Python uses the global interpreter lock which makes parallel programming a bit more interesting than C++. This topic has several useful examples and descriptions of the challenge. Python Global Interpreter Lock, GIL, workaround on multicore systems using task set on Linux. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.